Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Extra Sauce. My name is Boston. Welcome to another episode. How was your weekend? My weekend? Hmm. What happened? I'm always talking about my weekend. See, it's not that I don't have an interesting weekend. It's just that wait, lately it has not been sweet like that. But then it was nice. I was yours now over the weekend. See, we had silver bed. We have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. It was awesome. Don't worry, I'll give you all the full gist and the small gist of where you can be attacking your your side chick. Eh, 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 eh. I'll be your husband side chick inside eh, inside the eh, supermarket. Eh? Don't worry, we shall talk about everything. So sit back, relax, we shall be right back. Welcome back guys. Now first off, do you know that Silverberg Group is 40 this year? Now 40 years of giving you entertainment, MBGN, television, radio, everything has been awesome. You guys, thank you so much for staying through to us and happy 40th birthday to Silverberg Group. Silverberg, haha, <laughs> I give you that. Now moving on. Now we know I told you last week on last episode that on the 28th of February, that's last month, um, we are going to have the Silverbed Man of the Year. And it went down on Friday. It was awesome. We had all the dignitaries, like everybody that have mouth in Nigeria was there. Like it was awesome. It was an it was an interesting event. Like people came out, people turned out, like it was really, really fun. We had uh, we had the governors in attendance. We had Ben Murray Bruce, that's the chairman of Silverbird Group. He was in attendance. We had everyone in um, in attendance. It was really an interesting event. Now, um, for the awards, the major awards, for the man of the year, that is Silverbird's man of the year, went out to His Excellency Aminu Waziri Tambua for His Excellency did in Sokoto, as the governor of Sokoto. Now, we also have the extraordinary personality of the year, that's His Excellency Godwin Obaseki, that's the governor of Edo State. We, which of course he was recognized for his awesome job that he has done in Edo State. Now we also have the artist of the year. Guess who won the artist of the year? Hey, drum roll. Tenny Makanaki. She was in attendance, but a manager came out to pick the awards for her. And I say congratulations to everyone that won at the Silver Bell Man of the Year. Till we meet again next year. Now moving on, moving on to coronavirus. Now you know we've been hearing of the issue of coronavirus, of how it spread from Wuhan, China to other countries. Um, in Italy, um, it's also in, now there are confirmations that it's all, they've had their first case in America, that's in New York or so. Yes, then it has been around because Iran's vice president is infected and is also we're also suspecting that the Pope might be con might be infected by this same virus. Now, last week or two weeks ago, we heard rumors about the virus getting into Egypt, but the Egyptians have come out to say that no, they there is no coronavirus in their country. Now, on the 27th of February, it was confirmed that an Italian man who came in from Italy, who is a consultant to the Lafarge company, um, has the virus now he was he first of all now this is the fujis he came in from italy came to lagos went straight to go say that's to the lafarge company to do some other to of, of course because he's a consultant went to do his is what his job and then he went to banana island where they also have a consultancy um firm there because i think that's firm works with and everything and he went there then he just felt sick all of a sudden, like you know when he just had small cold. Then when he was taken to the hospital. Now while when they carried out some tests, they suspected they might have the virus since it was coming from Italy. Now this is the gist. Italy is going through a serious pandemic right now because they don't even they don't know how to contain because they don't even know how the virus got into the country. So moving on, now the Italian man was taken, brought down to Lagos. No, he was taken to the hospital. Yeah, he was taken to the hospital where he was tested and was confirmed that he has coronavirus. So far, they've been tracking everybody that he had contact with on the plane in Lagos and in Ogun State. Now, it was confirmed that um, at first it was 29 people that he had contact with. Now, it has increased to about 38 or so. So now it was from 28. Now it's now up. It has now been confirmed that he had, he had made contact with 39 people. That's in Ogun State. And everyone in Ogun State in Lafarge Company, Lafarge Company are under, they are, they, well, they're under lock and keys. Not lock, uh, lock and keys, but you get my, what I mean. They are watching them. They are trying to check out if they are infected with the virus and all. And the man is also responding to treatment. Now there was some news that was trending one time where they said, it was alleged that the, the Italian man wanted to run away from the facility because of it was because of poor conditions and everything 
But the minister has come out to say that C has been the man has been transferred, the Italian man has been transferred to another facility and he's responding to treatment and they are going to test him again to see if the virus is out of the system. Enough with Corona. Ah, no, not enough with Corona. Let's now move on. Moving on. So, with the fact that everybody has said that coronavirus is in Lagos in Nigeria now, this one, I'm even angry. You know, I've been, I've been calm trying to speak serious with you people. So, they say pay, it has entered Nigeria. Shall be the thing that all of us will have, the sense that all of us will have is that, okay, we'll take it easy, we'll calm down, try to help ourselves to try and sort this issue. Like, like Nigeria now say, Nikini is another avenue for them to make money. They now say pay and sanitizer is 19,000. Mask is how much? Mask of boy, five hundred, be two hundred, one thousand. Buying, is that not wickedness? Is that not madness? How would you? Hand sanitizer is to be found eight hundred. It's now one thousand, one five, two thousand naira. Something that we are supposed to try and use to save our life. Because if this person is saved, your life too will be saved. You are not trying to make money from it. You are trying to form work. Pay, eh? You are going to make money. You have to make money quickly. Oh, you want to take it? Take, how can we move forward as a country when we don't even want to, when we are not even our brother's keepers? I, I think at this point, I think the sensible thing here for anyone to do is that you should donate these hand sanitizers. Okay, yes, in as well, if you say, okay, you, it's money you used to buy it, okay, can you subsidize it? So, uh, can you not increase the price? Can you make it lesser? Why are you making it 1,000? It one that, that really annoyed was in 19,000 naira. Nine, nine, K, ah. Uh, we are wicked. It's not fair. We are trying to save our lives, and you are trying to. You are making it nineteen thousand naira. How do you think your nine man will, will be able to afford it? See, you people don't vex me. Now, finally, on the story, I really want to comment on this particular thing. Um, we saw a, a video went viral of the woman that was yet again another woman attacking her husband's side chick, saying, "How dare you do this and that and that. and I have said it before. I'm going to say it again. See, madam." The problem is your husband, not the side chick. You don't have any business going to talk to them. Again, I know that it's in the pain, like I said before, but you have no business with the girl. You have no business. I don't understand. You talking to the girl now, you think you can't tell the girl that she's not doing it again. The boy, your husband will say, baby, don't worry, I will take care of you. Is it money you want? I'll buy you a new car. You want to move into another place? I will open the house for you. It's going to make the relationship strong, stronger. So I think you should sort whatever issue you have with your husband. Talk to him, break, break with him, and, and demand to you not try. You not try. Anyway, that's all I have for you on this week's episode of Extra Souls. So we make again. I'm sweating too much. Bye bye, you people. Hey guys, I'm sure you enjoyed today's episode. Now do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is at Rhythm FM Nigeria, and also follow us on all our social media handles. Now. Do not forget to subscribe, like and comment.